Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Battletech bringing you another Steam Controller video. And this time I just want to talk about two features that came along with the latest Steam Controller firmware update. And that's the ability to store your Steam profiles directly to the controller and pull them out from the controller. So if you go to a friend's house, um, you can plug in your controller, boom, you got all your profiles and everything right there so you don't have to waste time trying to set everything up you can get right into the business second thing is the ability to personalize your controller and you do that by going into your settings and going down to add test controller and if your controller is already paired up which it should um, you just go down to detected steam controller and go over to personalize and from here you can give your steam controller a name you can give um, personalized startup and shutdown sounds which are real cool I'll go through a few of them right now let you uh, hear them um, they are the same sounds for starting and turning off so um, you basically pick two from this list I'll see if you guys can hear these might help if I push the right button too Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. You know what? I'm going to plug this in because I got a low battery light going here. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. You know how it is. You know I'm not going to edit this shit out. Alright, boom. Alright, so here we go. Go over to personalize. And you go down there. This is going to be the sound every time you push the steam controller button to turn it on. Uh, here we go. Let's hear a few of these. Warm and happy. It's a invader. Controller confirmed. They're like uh, the themed after like eight bit video games. It, it, you know, it's real, real cool. This is my personal favorite. This is probably going to be the one that I'm going to go with. It's called Next Level. Yeah, I like that. And then for my shutdown sound, I already know which one I'm going to use, so <clears throat> I'm going to go straight down to it. Um, if you got a Steam controller, you can check all of these out, but I just want to let you hear a couple of them. And this is my favorite. Not my favorite, but this is going to be my shutdown sound. Oh! Sound like some Rick Ross. Huh? Huh? <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, you can uh, adjust the uh, brightness of the Steam logo. I don't know if it's too bright in here, um, but I'll take it all the way down. Let's see. Yeah, that's not that's not working. I got too much light in here. But uh, at any rate, you go ahead and hit submit, and it's gonna save all of those settings right into my controller. And uh, Let's see, I'm going to unplug it from here. Hopefully the controller doesn't die. I just want you guys to hear the sounds in action. Okay, it's off right now, so let's go ahead and turn this on. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and shut this puppy off. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Um, Steam controller with uh, personalized settings let you um, store your profiles directly to your controller and also let you personalize your startup sounds and your shutdown sound. It gives your controller a kind of, you know, slightly more personal feel. I like it. You know, the controller still has a long way to go, but Valve is doing a pretty good job at, you know, steadily bringing new firmware updates and introducing new features. And the community has been doing a pretty good job, too, um, with their feedback. So, you know, you guys keep it locked right here, and I'll be sure to keep bringing you videos on Steam Controller and, you know, other gaming related topics. Until next time, remember, less trolling, more gaming. Battletech out. Peace.